This video is brought to you by eToro. Now you may have seen that eToro sponsor a number of Premier League clubs. Now if you don't have time to invest, you can use eToro's copy trader feature, copy top performing investors, so when they make a trade, you make the same trade automatically at no additional cost. Then click the link in the description and get on it right now. AFTV, time to get into the player ratings, DT, at least. <laughs> at least it's not a loss. Still only a point, still in 15th. Still in a bad way, the team. Still can't keep 10 men on the pitch. Seems to be mm -hmm. one of the big problems with Arsenal. The last four games down to 10 men in three of them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You know, when, when your manager's in a hole, that's the last thing he needs. Yeah. That's, that's what's happening yeah. time and time again. And this cost us any chance of getting three points today. Yeah, and um, the good thing though, Gabriel already come out and apologised. Boo hoo, wow, thank no, you. No, I'm just saying, if you compare no, to. Uh, why not, not do it in the no, first no, no. place? Yeah, I understand that, but he's been our standout player. Yeah, so no, true. I mean, to be fair, he's not going to get too much grief mm. because he's been consistently good this season. And. I don't know, you could see tonight. I, yeah, I like the fact that he's come out straight away, held unlike his hands some up, other. unlike someone else, which is what I said to you. Yeah, I said, Shaka, I said within 24 hours, it's been about an hour. So he knows, mm. it's man enough, come out. And I've seen a lot of other players on social media that have come out and said, it's not what you wanted, mm. but it's a Brandon start. Brandon did this when the, the incident before. He didn't, re, you know, mm. he, even when he came out, it wasn't a proper apology. He's not apologised this time. I, I just... I, I think his time's done anyway. He'll be back in the team. Let's move on. And luckily, anyway, he's not, he's not playing tonight. Uh, Leno in goal tonight. Don't think he had a lot to do. Again, I saw someone try and blame him for the first goal. For the first goal? The yeah. Chip. The chip? Walcott? Yeah. How? <laughs> what? No. Ask your brother because it's him. Yeah? Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you see... Those chips, uh, a keeper can pull off a worldie where he's sort of, But you, remember, when somebody's running in on you, like you, that, you don't know. Big because you, think you make that yourself big. Sliding, you don't know whether they're going to slide it to each side of you. You can go through your legs or a chip. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's not his. Nah, no. nah. And I, um, I thought he under pressure from Ward Prowse's his brilliant deliveries from some really from good. corners and that. He dealt with all those as well. Got mm. some good fists on it and that. Uh, yeah, I would probably give him a six. Mm. I don't think he had much to do to go further. Dealt mm. with what he had to. So yeah. I'd say six is a fair reflection on his performance. Okay, um, Ainsley Maitland Niles, who came in. Mm -hmm. um, um, I thought he'd done all right. There were some sloppy moments, but given the benefit of the doubt in that he's not played a lot of minutes. Yeah. Um, he'd, he'd done some little good, some great little interceptions. Oh, some really good interceptions, especially in the then second half. Then he turned around and gave the ball away. <laughs> when, we, when we were, you know, down to 10 men yeah. and they were trying to break and we were making those interceptions. So in that side of things, he'd done it right. You would have to worry if he was still doing it after two, three games if he gets a consistent mm. run because this will be. But would you, know, you keep him now. in? I would. On, on I Everton. would. Listen, Everton have got a very, very strong attack. Mm. And I know Carlo Ancelotti, seriously experienced manager that's been there, done it. And if he's, you know, he has got a brain, mm. but he would be looking and going, please bring Bellerin back in, please bring Bellerin back in because he'll set up and he'll attack down that side. Mm. And if they get crosses in, Calvert-Lewin, dangerous. True. Very dangerous. Cool. So, um, um, six. I think it was steady enough from him. All right. It was enough. Okay. Um, Gabriel, red card. Um, I thought overall it was a very, very poor performance all night. It was I'm, terrible. You know what? You're going to have to give him the zero. You're going to have to. <laughs> gonna I have think to. zero is too harsh. No, because you know what? No, no that's too let, harsh. Let me, let me think, man, because... Zero. I've given zeros to Granite Xhaka and Pepe and people like that have let the team down. I don't know the, the circumstances were different because it wasn't petulant. He didn't mm. do something in that respect, like grab someone or headbutt or whatever it might be. But I felt his overall game was poor. He looked sloppy. He looked slow. But to me, you know what? You like know why him. I wouldn't give him a zero? Because I felt is the player inexperienced trying too hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get he that. He was trying so hard. And that's what led to the, you know what I mean? Somebody, mm. did, somebody, that's why I wish Louise would have been playing. Someone needed to be there and say, yo, bro, calm down, man. Mm. You can tell Relax. how much it means to him because yeah, I, look, yeah. I look at when we scored and he grabbed hold of Saka and mm. I'll probably give him a two then. It, you can't really give yeah. him more than that, Robbie, because it was a yeah, poor, it, a poor it, performance. It was a poor performance. But he won a was, zero. I, yeah, you know what, looking at Zeros it. Zeros when I'm, someone's done something totally ridiculous or yeah, no all right. effort. But 
Yeah, that's okay. fair enough. I'll, I'll give him a two, but I can't right. give him more than that. Tierney. Um, I don't like him in a three. Nor do I. Because um, you, you lose so much. Of yeah, that, and, and you lose that. You lose all the crossing. You lose all yeah, the Yeah, not that dynamism. anyone's been taking his chances he's been yeah. creating. But I just feel you lose a little something from him. Mm. But again, I don't think he had... That much Put some to good deal blocks with. in, yeah. Again, Put when we were down blocks. to 10 men, he, he worked his socks um, off. So, again, six. Okay, um, Rob Holding. I'm giving him a could seven. Could have scored, could have I'll, scored I'll, that winner at the yeah, end. Been a, imagine if he'd have scored oh, that, mate, what that would have done for him. I'm giving him a seven based on his aerial presence in that game because I felt yeah. he headed everything. I can't think of top Again, of my head. he had a few sloppy moments in the first yeah, half. Yeah, but, but I think I thought, aerially, yeah, he, he grew was into superb. The game. Yeah. Superb aerially. So, he deserves a seven for that because when you needed him to. Get his head on a few things. Should he be a bit more better in the, on the Walcott goal? A bit tighter there? Or I don't know. Nah, I, I, I think it was a fact that Gabriel was the one that came out of his position into the central midfield area. Mm. Challenged Sobias at the same time and, and, and kind of went that way into the path. I think mm. that... It went at El Nenny, wasn't it? Was it? Oh, it was El Nenny yeah. and... Um, yeah, t went into El Nenny and then mm. Sobias come this way. Yeah. And right, um, but I feel that about, it was Gabriel that come okay. out of his position. Um, Sobias. I thought he'd done well tonight. I thought his mm. um, energy was really good. It was a shame he had to come off, but his socks smart off. by Mikel to good take him football. off. I thought he was smart to take him off because mm. down to 10, he was another on a yellow yeah, and he yeah. is one of those players that can play on the edge. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas I feel with Gabriel being the centre-back, being our best centre-back, mm. you just got to keep him there in the hope yeah, that... In the midfield, you've got to put loads of tackles. Yeah, on. in that area yeah. and the way that Sobias plays you could kind of just go, yeah, a little nudge and that ref's mm. going to be, whoa, yellow card again, no. Um, I think the same as Rob Holden. I'll give him a seven. I think there was okay. not much more than that. Oh, Nenny. Decent. Um, not good, I felt. I felt the last 20 when we went down to 10, well, we he was went down right. to 10 men, he played well because yeah. he really helped out the defence. Yeah. But the previous 60, he was dreadful. Just, Off the he, pace, he, not yeah, quick he, enough, he, the passing. Passing went sharp. He's, he's I'll just, give him a um, four. Because okay. I felt that first hour was poor, poor, poor. I would have given him a five. I don't think he deserves... I think he was average. I don't think he was below average. I think he was in that first okay. hour. Um, Saka. Um, great run again, for the goal. Again, great run. Um, young boy that's, you know, grabbing games by the scruff of the neck. And we said this at half time when we was doing the analysis of everything. And we said, who's going to grab the game by the scruff of the neck? Who's going to turn around and actually do something? Mm. Well, he did. Because he was the one that drove at him and everything else. So... I think for that moment, um, seven as well. But seven? Yeah, no. I he was the man of the match for me. He was, he, mm. was outs he was outstanding. It wasn't just that. He was other times he put crosses uh, in. I think, um, no, he, it was didn't he put start, the cross in for holding? It was at the start he, of the second half. I yeah, felt but he was that our he best was really player. direct. Mm. He was our best player, man. Mm. I don't know. That's my opinion. But yeah, you gave I'm, him seven. I'm kind of... It was between him and Sobias for me. All right. So you give, you're sticking with seven, yeah? Yeah, I kind of give him and Sobias the same. I don't think right. anyone really went to the greater heights of okay. eight and nines. I think you've got to get victories for that. Mm. Eddie. Flat as to deceive, I'm afraid. Assist. Assist. Great assist. But hard work again, closing hard down. Hard work, but just... We don't... Had a chance in the first half, though, when he was kind of... It was a pass back. Just pass it along the ground to the it's, keeper. You want to see him... Look, Robbie... We're Arsenal Football Club, man. And is Eddie going to make it? Is he going to be the one? Is he going to be an elite level striker for us? I don't, I don't see it. I genuinely don't. And I don't want to be harsh on the boy. I just don't see it. I honestly so don't. I won't go too harsh. I'm going to be six. But okay. Because he got the assist. Pepe. So you're giving that. Poor. Poor. I felt he was kind of on the edge Periphery. of it. Yeah. Um, there were some good moments in the first half, the little flick into Tobias that should have got a penalty. Um, but just kind of on the edge. Not, not enough. That's why don't start. Yep, five. Um, Aubameyang broke his duck finally. Finally. Um, work rate, you can't fault nice him. Nice finish. Beautiful finish. Just Aubameyang-esque. Mm. It's, it's what he's become renowned to do with the club. He's always been doing it. Mm. Um, Overall, I think his work rate was good, but didn't have many chances and it, it was more difficult once mm. we went down to 10. I give him a six, but he got the goal. Okay. I just don't think he was as 
good as what the likes of Sabayas or Saka mm. were. All right, subs, Louise, he weren't on that long. Weren't on that long. Give him a standard state five, five. Cedric, standard five. And we'll, we're, uh, not Willock. Willian, Willock. Willock. Can't get more words out. Um, same again. Standard kind of, five. Yeah. Uh, Arteta. Um, didn't get the win, didn't lose. Didn't get the win. Team was I fighting. Team, you could see that you said it in your interview earlier. You the could see that they were fighting. For. Yeah. yeah um, I think you saw that. I've seen some interviews mm. that are going out on here that have turned around and said that um, the players were deliberately trying to get in the sack tonight. Who? They were. Um, just don't get me started. <laughs> I've heard an interview. and it's, Okay. And, um, I thought the players fought for him today. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Well, at that. one person doesn't believe that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm entitled to their opinion. Entitled to their opinion. Other people are available. I've got, I've, uh, yeah, I've got, um, I've got respect for him. Other and opinions are available. I've got respect for him, but I will, um, if he sees this and he knows who I'm on about and he will know I'm on about him because it's the only one I've seen do it, then I will respectfully say that I don't agree with your opinion. But um, yeah, that's his. What give, you give our title? Um, I give him a six. I mm. would say um, team selection. I would say kind of... He went back to today. He's tried and trusted. Yeah. Um, and there was nothing wrong with doing that. I, I feel Southampton, that, good team. Yeah, I feel that there were some decisions that were easy to make because of suspensions. Yeah, I think a lot true. of people were surprised William didn't start. So that was one where it everyone went... Fine. No, but a lot of people... But he hasn't mm. been our worst player the last couple of weeks. Yeah, but... So it was still a surprise. You know what I mean? So... Mm. He went with something different. Everyone's been saying, try something different. Play someone else. Do this, do that. So we did it. And ultimately, the reason why we didn't win this game, or I feel we didn't win this game, or had the opportunity to go on and win it, was because of the sending off. Mm. That's not because of Mikel Arteta. He didn't tell him at halftime, yeah, go get two yellows. Yeah, I like living on the edge. Yeah, no, he didn't, did he? So I'll give him a six. He Decent enough there. Referee? Um, I'll give him a one. And that was because of you his... think it was a penalty? Yeah, it was. Why does everyone else get him? If that was Man United, they wouldn't have even gone to VAR. He would have just got it. Mm. And they would have let Bruno take it. If he missed it, they would give him a retake. So, look, it is what it is. And he gets a one because um, he's got a decent tan from the sunbed. <laughs> That's about it. You can tell. But, um, no, he was, listen, he, you, you see, the moment Theo went down, he didn't even need to turn around and remonstrate with a referee. The referee was like, yeah! have some Christmas cards Woo! <laughs> he was loving life and they all do and I'm not one of the I'm not like Ty no disrespect to Ty in the sense that I will blame everything on a referee but some of the refereeing performances that we've had over this season are honestly dreadful but at the same time I'm not gonna blame them because we need to take a long hard look at ourselves for the majority of our performances but just the standard of refereeing in general in this country is shambolic. And I've said it, VAR is not a problem. It's the people using them. When the guy that runs the whole of the referees is the most corrupt referee and has one of the worst performances ever when we lost our 49 game unbeaten run, Mike Riley, you remember that mm -hmm. performance and you expect him to have the competence to lead other referees to go and do things correctly. After that performance, that should have been investigated. I would love AFTV to have been around at that time <laughs> and seen Ty's reaction. My God, because <laughs> that one, I would have backed him 110%. So the problem ain't VAR, it's the officials. How can you expect incompetent people to work technology? Because they've shown already it's a lot of it's down to interpretation. We've seen that decision given so many times, Robbie, with the clip on the heel, soft, yes. Foul, of course it is. Outside the box, it gives a free kick 10 times out of 10. Mm. So why not in the penalty area? One. So there you have it. Play ratings for today. Um, it's 1-1. One, one. Wasn't a defeat, wasn't a win. Again, 10 men. Can we, the question I'm gonna pose to you now is this. Do you know what I'm gonna ask you? Can we, can we Can we win against Everton? No. Can no. we keep 10 people on the pitch? 11 players. 11? 11 players. See, we're so used to playing with 10. You even think, can we can keep 10? Can we keep 11 players on the pitch against Everton? We'll deal with that one first. Yeah. 